Introducing the new Heritage series from the start. Our heritage, your legacy. Okay, we'll start with a mustard heritage. This is the C49 XAP, uh, barbless, uh, curved, size 12. I have sheer 40 naught brown. This is a new hackling technique I've been working on. And we just attach our tying thread there. Remove that, we go back here. This is the bedraggled emerger. A mayfly. So what we want now is if you can see these long guard hairs on a hairs mask we need a little bunch of those not many at all just a few they don't have to be lined up I just want this to be a, a scruffy tail so we come in and just tie those in on top give it a couple of turns just to tack it in see if it's right A bit too long so I'll just come out and I'll shorten it just a ever so little that's good so I'll come down like so that's great just want that like that Perfect. I will just remove those. Then what I want to do is I want to spin my thread clockwise to give it a round profile. And I'll just go under the tails and this will just lift them slightly and spread, spread them out. And we want them scruffy, so that's perfect. And we go back up here this is, uh, has been, uh, I've only fished with this one season, but it's been a fantastic pattern. And then we have some quite heavy uh, gauge. This one is uh, 0.2 millimeter copper wire. Now it's, it's important that we have this uh, because we need some weight at the back of the fly for it to present correctly so we go down here right into the tail base like so that's perfect then we can go back up to there and I've got a little bunch of aero wing fine which I'll just tack in for the post make sure it's in the right position that's good and we go back a wee ways and I want to cut that off at a slight angle so I get the correct uh, foundation for the underbody and get that taper and just go over that that's good and then we can come up here go in front and we can just reinforce the base of the post just to hold it all together like so we don't have to build the post all the way up on this pattern. We can go back down. Let's have a look here. Gone a little bit too far. I'll just reverse that. I need three 
three turns in the tail base there. I can just hang that out of the way now. And we go back down. That just gives us this extra weight at the back, right into there. Spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it so I can split it. There we are. We just split that up. And I've got a blend of Rodeo hair squirrel which is a real scruffy blend so we just pop this in like so spread it out a little then we can spin that up Super, and we can start putting the body on. I need a little bit more. Don't need to spin this on. I'll just dub it on. Perfect, looking very good. Then we take our copper wire and we make a rib up over the body. We can tie that off at the back. Then I've got my old scissors here, my tinsel scissors. They are renowned, but they've been used to death. So I put black tape on them so I don't pick up the wrong scissors for doing my tinsel. So there we are. Now the hackling technique. I've got a brown and a grizzle hackle. Love that combination of the Adams combination. So we've come up here and we tie these in. The best of the past. Then I take both my hackles and I put my hackle plier on them and I twist them up. What we get is a kind of a hackle rope, if you can see that. Then I go around the post two or three times then I come in front and make a collar hackle. Tie that off securely. Turn my lights this way so I don't cut any tying thread. Remove the hackles. A little bit of tying wax. And just pull everything back.
give it a whip finish. Move the tying thread. The post on the axe now really is a indicator. A little sight wing there. And what I can do is I'll just remove these at the front. Of course you don't have to do it, but it gets in the way of tying the leader on. But that's it, that's the bedraggled Mayfly emerger with the twisted hackle. Great fishing fly. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.